In this photo, next to the famous model Naomi Campbell, Christoph Rokencourt is captured, a man who, by his own admission, eased the wallets of Hollywood stars and oligarchs by $40 million. French Ostap Bender was born in 1967. The family was dysfunctional and his childhood was spent in an orphanage. Young Christophe was imprisoned several times for robbery and fraud. Arriving in Paris, he tried to pass himself off as a descendant of the famous Russian prince Galitsyn, but the trick did not work, Russian emigrants ridiculed him. In 1991, Rokencourt tried to rob a jewelry store and was put on the wanted list. At that moment, he realized that it is much safer not to rob, but to make people give you money themselves. Hiding from French justice, the swindler moved across the Atlantic and quickly settled in Los Angeles. Rokankar already then understood that in order to achieve his goals, his persuasive talent alone would not be enough. You need to look presentable. Therefore, the first thing he buys for himself are the attributes of success, a pair of expensive suits, shoes, and watches. The swindler presented himself to his new acquaintances as a relative of Rockefeller, a Formula One pilot, the best boxer in Europe and even the son of Sophia Loren. Despite the fact that both sons of Sophia Loren are public figures, the Rokencourt legend worked perfectly. The first to fall for Christoph's bait was a businessman who owned a chain of boutiques in Beverly Hills. Christoph swindled him out of a total of about $200,000 on the pretext that he would invest them into profitable business. Soon, Rokanker married not just anyone, but a well-known top model. On the legendary Sunset Boulevard, Christoph met actor Mickey Rourke and immediately promised the fated star a triumphant return to Olympus. Mickey even allowed a new friend to live in his house for a while. Philip's next victim was Jean-Claude Van Damme, whom Christoph met at Rourke's house. For a small investment, the action star has been promised $40 million in funding for his new movie. Van Damme became Rokencourt's best friend and followed him on his heels. Christoph did not miss this opportunity and took many photos with the action star, which he could accidentally show at the right time to prove his own importance. Money was needed to maintain the image of a rich offspring. Christoph got them by seducing single wealthy ladies. The investigation included an episode when one of the victims lent her beloved $90,000 and insisted that Rokencourt move to live with her. Soon, the swindler disappeared without a trace, taking jewelry worth a quarter of a million. Pierced Rokencourt on trifles. An acquaintance of his next victim pondered over the simple fact, why does Rockefeller speak English with a thick accent? A little research into the financier's pedigree revealed a hoax. At the end of April 2001, the fraudster was arrested. In prison, he wrote an autobiography, I, Christoph Rokencourt, an orphan, a playboy and a convict and arranged an auction for the right to film it. The memoirs, however, were not widely disseminated in America due to the fact that Rokencourt did not speak flatteringly about the American elite in them. In particular, Rokencourt wrote, I benefited from the stupidity and greed of the Hollywood elite. But his memoirs became a bestseller in France. Rokencourt was accused under several articles at once, including theft, perjury, forgery and smuggling. Only according to official data, 19 people became victims of the schemer, and the total damage was estimated at $40 million. But the most interesting thing is that most of the victims, primarily celebrities, decided not to go to court. They were ashamed to admit that some person from the street, whom they did not know, had managed to fool them. In order not to get the maximum term of 20 years, Rokencourt made a deal and pleaded guilty under several articles. As a result, Christoph was sentenced to five years in prison. After his release, Rokencourt was deported to France. Incredibly, even after Christoph became famous all over the world, he again took up his old ways. Soon another scandal erupted. Director Catherine Brayla accused Rokencourt of having fraudulently received 700,000 euros from her. The great French strategist pleaded not guilty. In his numerous interviews, Christoph emphasized that he was not a thief. Allegedly, people always voluntarily gave him their savings. Thank you for your attention.